I look at a bait like this and I think it's a jerk bait. Well, yeah, it can be, but it's also a cast and wind, a cast and retrieve bait like a crankbait. One of the easiest ways to catch a fish is to be able to deliver a bait, cast it out, and just wind it in. You want to be able to relax when you're fishing. You want to have fun, but you still want to be successful. And people that throw crankbaits know the value of a crankbait in certain situations that you can convert a fish that is trying to bump that bait and trying to stop. If you have a single hook jig, for instance, like a swim bait, he either gets it or that fish doesn't get it. He's got to get all the way up and committed. When you're fishing a soft plastic swim bait, and I fish a lot of them and so do a lot of my buddies successfully, but the only problem is, is when you get a nipper that comes up and just won't commit, you stop that soft plastic bait and that lead headed jig takes it right to the bottom. A negative fish typically is a nipper. He'll bump the bait and you, you wonder how he doesn't get stuck. That's the advantage of treble hooks. This one's coming along, you stop it, you rip it ahead, let the bait rock, level off, and you convert those nippers into a positive catch. That's the biggest difference. That fish, who's kind of in a negative mode, and bumps that bait and shows up on it, if he gets close and blows on the bait, he's hooked. It's that simple. And that's what the rip stop does. You can twitch it, you can swim it, you can cast and retrieve it, you can pop it, you can do whatever you want, so long as you stop it and let the bait go to work. And what sets it apart is the fact that this tail actually can slow the bait down to stop on a dime, but also just create some real disturbances in the water column you know, one of the first ways you want to be able to fish a ripstop is just cast out as I just did. The longer a cast, the better, and just continually wind. As you go along, you can play with it and pop it, pause it, pick up the slack, rip it, pause it, pick up the slack. You know, oftentimes we've learned over the years, you can have fish that will trail a bait and never bump it and nose it. So it's really important to vary your retrieves as you go. And this bait allows that because it's a suspension characteristics built into the bait. It's just like a jerk bait. You can take a husky jerk or an X wrap or a shadow wrap. They're all a little different. They all have different body shapes, which give different vibrations in the water, even if they're all the same size. But the ripstop is a flat sided bait. It flashes more because it's an unstable balance point. You can't roll all the way over. It just rolls so far and then it would fall. So when it rewrites itself, it's getting that real quick flashing action. That's why it's so very important just to vary your retrieve as you're fishing the bait. And I'm just ripping it forward maybe about a couple of feet at a time and letting the bait stop. And while it's stopping, it's rocking head up, body catches itself and it sits suspended. It's just very, very easy for everybody. You don't have to be an advanced angler to fish this bait correctly.